Hi there, I'm Marisa. Welcome to Marisa Home. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are going to do a craft that's going to get us into the Halloween spirit. And it's a super simple, easy, fun craft to do in minutes. We are going to make wine cork vats. So you can do it as a single ornament like this, um, have long string, short string hanging around the house, save them for your Christmas tree. Um, well, tons of fun. Or you can do a hanging series like this um, for a wall decoration, and this is how we're actually gonna proceed with the video. So save up those corks, grab some felt, and yeah, let's get started. All right, let's make these wine cork vats. So we just need a little piece of felt. I'm using black, vats are black, <laughs> but really you can use any color you want. And I have a stencil here. You're welcome to create your own, but if you would like to check out the stencil that I have, there's a link below, so, um, and attached so you can uh, use it if you would like. So I'm just using a uh, regular piece of chalk to mark it out. You don't need a very big piece of felt. I want to say this is, well, let's see, four, almost five, in, five at four and a half inches um, by like two inches at best. So just a small piece of felt. Take your scissors and Carefully, I'm going to cut on the inside line so I don't see any of the chalk. Luckily, chalk does come off really easily with just a swipe. There is the cutout of the bat. All right, so you're going to take your cork and you're going to place the cork in any kind of uh, configuration that you would like. A lot of the ones I have the wine stain on the bottom. This one I'm going to have um, upright so then you can read the label of the cork. Um, but it's up to you how you want to do it. So right here, right down the middle, I'm going to do a line of hot glue. So Hopefully you had your hot glue on the ready. <laughs> and then I'm just going to place the cork. So the top of the cork kind of line up to the bottom of the ears, maybe even up a little bit more. Now, if you are doing um, just the bat wings like this, then what I like to do is try and like, you know, line it up so the bat wings are um, flat or flush at the top. And then uh, I like to kind of pull the wings or the glue on the back towards the, um, towards the sides of the wings. So they kind of wrap around and look like they're flapping rather than just being flat. And then um, you can go ahead and hot glue two flat buttons or you can do, uh, you can paint on some closed eyes if you like. The one I'm going to show you is like a, um, a puppy button. I don't know, I just think they're the texture of it and the just the change of elevation looks just kind of cool and a little wonky. I'm gonna do something like this. This button has a little, um, I don't even know what to call that. The eye of the button like sticks out. I'm gonna take a wine, um, a corkscrew and I'm just gonna kind of dig into this so we can make like a little pouch. So let's take a bit of glue and just put it right in there. Doesn't take much. And then I'm gonna press in the eye of this button into the hole we created until it's flush with the wine cork. And then we'll take our other button and get creative with your buttons. It makes it fun. So there we go. And then we're gonna take one wing and place it over to one side. And I'm gonna put the glue on the tip 
the bat wing, like so. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then just lightly press it on there. And then I'll put some glue on the other wing, right at the tip of the wing. So since that's sleep, I'll fold it up cute like this. I am gonna put my um, little, little like jewelry eye pins, they're super tiny, and I'm gonna put it on the bottom. But if you have like one with the bat wings, you can put it at the top like it's flying if you like. Okay, so I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And these have a little screw on it, so that's kind of cool. You just screw it in. Okay, so there we've got our um, little eye hook in there. And then you can thread some ribbon through the eye pin and call it a day and then be um, a little like ornament. Uh, actually, that's kind of a cute idea. <laughs> we did like Christmas ornaments that were bats and put them all over. It's really cute, that idea. Um, this might go on the Christmas tree this year. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just kind of, you know, hang them all over the place. Um, around the house, or you can also just leave it be and just have it kind of hang around the house, just standing. I just wanted to cluster some of these bats together and see what it looks like and make a little wall hang. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I have all of these little bats here. If you are doing your bat kind of like this, my husband says it's like, Batman. <laughs> just put a little bit of glue at the bottom of like the feet and then just lightly place um, the wing, the tip of the wings right there. We've got some bat wings and we've got this. We have some sleeping ones and we have some active flying ones. So I have like a half, half circle, like, I don't even know what to call this book. That up. And I have some twine and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna have these hanging at all different um, lengths and should be, I'm hoping it's really cute and a lot of fun. Um, you can hang it up as a really easy, uh, cute Halloween decoration. So I'm just gonna take a string, I don't know, they're all gonna be different sizes. So this is probably like three feet. It needs to be that big or that long, so we'll we'll figure it out. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of just loop this around, right? Make a little knot at the bottom so it stays in, in place. Yeah. Okay. And then we have it at two different lengths. Cool. These um eye pins are really really tiny so what i'm doing in order to be able to thread the twine through is i'm putting just a little bit of hot glue onto the tip of the twine I'm letting it cool off just just a bit just a bit so i can twist it so and it stays together let's see if this will thread I don't know if I did it thin enough. Oh, sure did. Okay. And then we'll just put a little knot. Okay, we'll tip it up. Cut off this extra. And then we'll put a little bit of glue just so it doesn't come out. Just like that. Okay, so let's do another one. Should we do a flying one next? Why not? Okay, so same thing. Let's twist this a little bit. Put some glue on there. And we'll repeat that for the rest of the wine cork bat. So let's see how it comes out. string and I want it long 
いな Let's just secure this at the top, just so we know that it's not going to unravel. All right, so just putting on the last bit of glue to keep these um, bats in place. And then I want to address this up here. That's looking a little, looking a little ragged like that. So, spread them out like that. And then what I'm going to do is um, twist twine around the top so it stays in place. I'm just going to cut 15 inches should be more than plenty. Kind of working with the back here. So just a little bit of glue right there. Just so it has something to work with. Wait for it to dry. Just place the um, twine right there on the glue and then wait for it to dry. And then we're gonna twist in between. So hopefully it's nice and clean and um, and that actually helps to kind of uh, place the bats in um, a certain areas so they don't like mesh around or move around everywhere and get all squished. Let's just wrap this around. So I'm adding in the second string of bats and I'm just kind of tying around. Now I'm going to take that third uh, bit of twine that has the bats attached, kind of fold that in. All right, and let's take the last one, the fourth one, I'll wrap this one in. I kind of want to make this even so you don't really see the knots. So, I'm going to keep wrapping and filling in where it's a little thinner. So hopefully, it kind of all just comes together. It looks a little cleaner. So now I'm back to where we put the original little bit of um, glue to start this. And then I'll put another bit of glue to end it. And then I'll let it sit there and dry for a minute. Maybe I'll even put glue over the top just so it doesn't fray. So just make sure that's always back. Right. Maybe that's how I end up with a lot of those <laughs> on my projects is because I'm trying to cover up glue. This is closed. And let's take a look. I think this turned out pretty cute. I had no idea what it was going to be like when we started this. And I um, can't wait to put this summer special so we can enjoy it for Halloween. So I hope you had a lot of fun with this craft, just like I did. I would love to see your creations. So tag me here. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Instagram. Um, and of course, I'm here on YouTube and on my website if you want to check out Midi Settle. So yeah, thank you for crafting with me today.